welcome today is november 28 2019 and i'm here to do our daily check-in so <clears throat> if you notice that uh, i don't have my face uh, showing up uh, on today's reading um i've been cooking all day guys uh, i hope you all had a, a happy thanksgiving for those uh, of you who celebrated uh, and I'm tired, guys, so I don't want to show my face for today. But I did want to uh, do a check-in uh, on our Divine Masculines and see where they're at energetically during this time. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's see. What is the overall energy of our Divine Masculines? And what is the overall energy of our masculines to our divine feminine? What is the overall energy, please, spirit, of our divine masculine? And what is the overall energy of our masculines towards our divine feminine? Thank you, spirit. Overall, we have here a storm warning, but it came up in reverse. So I really feel like this masculine may have gone through a storm warning, but I feel like they're coming out of it. Uh, the coast is clear, right? You know, we're at the end of our Thanksgiving uh, day. Um, right now, as I'm recording this, it is 6.35 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And so I really feel like this masculine is getting out of a situation and um, things are, are looking better now. I feel like this masculine is possibly resting. Um, and, uh, you know, if they had to deal with any kind of family situations, I feel like now they're at ease. Okay. That is the feeling that I'm getting overall. And towards the feminine, we have here for Chakra, Archangel Michael. And so what I'm feeling is that this masculine is actually feeling grounded, very stable, uh, working on themselves, and feeling really balanced. This is actually a very beautiful energy that I'm seeing here for this masculine. And do you see that? There is like a lot of red that is glowing there and down there in the root chakra. Uh, and I feel like this masculine is really feeling better now that they're getting out of this storm warning okay that is the feeling that i'm getting so far so let's go ahead and take a look and see what is the underlying energy of our divine masculines when it comes to the storm warning in reverse and what is the underlying energy of our masculines with the first chakra towards the divine feminine What is the underlying energy, please, Spirit? We have don't let the past hold you back. Okay. South node. This is what I'm getting. I feel like this masculine is possibly involved with a past situation. Um, you know, and I really feel like it's just people in general. And I feel that after this masculine has gone through most of their day dealing with, you know, their south node, they're they're coming to realize that they're not gonna let the past hold them back any longer. Whatever storm warning that they have gone through, I feel like is now at a close. And I feel like this masculine has come to some sort of realization about uh, the situations that they have put themselves in. And I feel like, you know, they're, they're going to take a stand and not tolerate anything from their past that is holding them back. And that's a beautiful energy, you know, and that's the reason why I feel like, you know, with this masculine, with this uh, root chakra or first chakra, they're feeling really balanced now. You know, it actually feels very good. And so towards the feminine, oh, wow, look at this. We have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon and Libra. So guys, you know, what I'm feeling is that this masculine is feeling balanced, you know, through themselves, but also, you know, with their feelings. 
and do you see that um, this new moon we just had a passing of a new moon a few days ago and I feel like again this masculine is coming to a realization that whatever that their self note is it's coming to pass I feel like this masculine is coming to some sort of a self-realization about the situation or circumstance that they place themselves in. And now this masculine is feeling a little bit grounded when it comes to offering their feminine a new romantic cycle. That is the feeling that I'm getting, guys. And that's really beautiful. So let me go ahead and see. What is the energy of this masculine overall outside of the connection with themselves? And what is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine? What is the overall energy, please, spirit, of this masculine overall? And what is the energy of this feminine, uh, of this masculine towards their feminine? Sorry. Thank you, spirit. Overall, we have here Angel, okay, and it came up in reverse, so let me go ahead and see what this says. Acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. Wow. <laughs> So this is what I'm getting, you know, this masculine is seemingly portraying themselves to be an angel when they're really not, especially in their overall energy. I feel like it has something to do with their past or their self node, you know, people, places or situations that they have involved themselves with, you know, and they're now coming out of this storm warning. I feel like now uh, the storm is passing and they had to just ride that wave, okay? And they're not letting their past to hold them back, from what I can see. And, you know, they're just acting a little bit angelic, and they're really not, guys, okay? I feel like, you know, they're putting up a facade, you know, towards these group of people. And, honestly, it feels like this mask can rather just be alone. I feel like, you know, they had the energy that they had to deal with, you know, uh, surrounding themselves with certain people. And they just want to keep to themselves. And that's the feeling that I'm getting. Because here, you know, in this depiction, we have here, you know, a person who has their arms uh, closed, you know. And that, to me, feels like, you know, this person just want to be left alone. And that's what I'm feeling. And so, towards the feminine... Oh, we have Virgin maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> you know, you know, overall, this masculine is uh, trying to uh, portray like this idea of being an angel, you know, but towards their uh, uh, feminine, they're acting like a virgin, okay? <laughs> that is so funny guys you know i feel like this masculine um is really balanced they really want to move things forward with their feminine okay and they want to you know appear pure you know especially in their heart and their spirit towards their feminine guys again we have here another uh person who has their arms crossed from i can see and you know, if, uh, you know, feminine, if you have dark hair and, uh, you know, like brown skin or olive colored skin, you know, this, this reading could be more resonant with you because I see that here in both depictions, okay? That is what I'm seeing here so far. So, let's go ahead and see what is currently going on in the 3D space of your Divine Masculine. What is currently going on in the 3D space of your Divine Masculine? Why are they getting out of this storm warning? 
you know, I feel like, you know, they're just dealing with people of their past and they're not letting them hold them back. I feel like this masculine has realized something, you know, where they're trying to be of an angel and they're really not, you know, but towards their feminine, you know, they're acting like a virgin. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so let's see. Overall, we have your occupation, okay? I feel like, you know, today, masculines are working. And, uh, you know, some of them could be working at their job if, you know, some of your masculines work during the holidays, from what I can feel, okay? Um, possibly, you know, they could have, like, you know, dipped out, made an excuse, and say, well, I have to work for today, you know, is what I'm feeling. But if not, you know, I feel like this masculine possibly could be working in the kitchen, from what I can see it. And, you know, I feel like this masculine is really defending themselves, you know, by working diligently, you know, and keeping to themselves from what I can see here. Also, we have here adjudication. I feel like this masculine is being judged from what I can see here, you know, and it has something to do with their work situation. You know, possibly this masculine, you know, is telling certain people uh, in their 3D environment that, you know, I just have some work to do, I'm busy, and possibly they're being judged by their family or friends uh, from what I can see, you know, because this masculine works too much, okay, or they're, they're putting portraying that they're all innocent or angelic um but they're really not i feel like you know this masculine possibly has an issue of really you know telling the truth uh to these certain individuals from what i can feel you know and not really you know telling them bluntly or clearly that you know possibly they don't want to spend time with them you know they'd rather be alone they just you know uh, want to work on themselves you know it's it's all about like what they want and not what other people want them to do that's the feeling that i'm getting with this masculine and also we have here courthouse now, I know that, you know, in the United States, we have a holiday here, but I really feel like, you know, this masculine could be uh, dealing with some sort of legal situation, dealing with some documents or paperwork, uh, and, you know, it possibly has something to do with their job, from what I can see. So, instead of being a festive, I feel like this masculine has other things on their mind, you know, where it requires uh, some change. Um, in their, you know, physical reality, even though that they're trying to be angelic, you know, towards these group of people, you know, I feel like, you know, there really aren't, you know, I feel like this person wants to leave the past behind and uh, whatever storm that they're going through, I feel like it's, it's coming to a close, whatever judgment that's being placed on them, you know, based on like paperwork, maybe that this masculine has been procrastinating, you know, uh, doing, um, you know, some documents or things like that. And mind you, we're at the uh, end of the year. And so um, tax season is around the corner, guys. So um, I feel like this masculine is really um, busy uh, thinking about um, some things that they have to work on. Okay, even though during the holidays, this masculine is really thinking about their work. Um, possibly some judgments are placed against them, but there's definitely some sort of change here, okay? Also, we have here false person. I feel like your masculine is dealing with a false person. Perhaps your masculine is going through a divorce, okay? We have like, you know, the holidays again today. Possibly they had to, you know, get together with an ex-spouse or a spouse um, during this time, knowing that they're going through a legal uh, situation here and I feel like you know honestly it has something to do with work you know I don't know if your masculine um, is dealing with this situation you know with work but I feel like it has something to do with work because I see that this masculine is really working diligently okay and maybe your masculine is putting up a false mask uh around these types of people you know trying to play that they're all angelic but really you know i feel like that they're putting up a, a wall guys okay 
I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm feeling. But also, you know, your masculine could be dealing with a, a false person, you know, that is, uh, you know, maybe taking them to court. Maybe, uh, you know, this person hasn't really revealed yet that, you know, they are. But I feel like there, there's some sort of legal situation revolving your masculine, okay, dealing with this working situation possibly with work or another person okay it's coming out strong today guys okay so also yeah we have here marriage you know like i really feel like you know i really don't think that this masculine had um a happy holiday today guys okay i feel like you know um you know thanksgiving you know is a time of uh you know sharing giving thanks you know and spending time with family uh more so than friends when i can see but you know if this uh masculine doesn't have like any family around them you know they're dealing with their friends but in this particular case i'm picking up on a masculine who is actually actually married okay to a karmic partner who is actually going through a legal situation okay that is what i'm seeing and you know i feel like this masculine is involved in a, a karmic situation or third party situation that is uh, really changing your masculine's life that is what i'm seeing here and also we have mature man your masculine, again, is trying to be mature about the situation. I feel like, you know, this person has actually been married to this specific uh, karmic partner for some time. Or had some sort of relationship uh, with the karmic situation. Some sort of contract that they're binded in. And I feel like your masculine is, you know, putting up a, a fake mask you know trying to act all angelic in front of this person when they're really not you know i feel like your masculine is playing two-faced today okay that is what i'm seeing so finally we have your pathway i feel like this masculine has reached some sort of spiritual awakening okay to follow a certain path to change and transform that is why you know i feel like for this particular masculine they're not letting the past hold them back i feel like you know this might be like one of the last times that they have to spend time with this karmic partner and they're really working on the situation okay honestly i don't feel like you know this masculine is really happy during this time guys okay and all the pictures that i'm seeing here this masculine has like a, a straight face or a grim looking face they're not they're not happy okay that is what i'm seeing here and it all has something to do with work or communicating with this karmic person during this time and that's what i'm seeing guys okay so let me go ahead and pull how is the masculine okay one second guys how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine today how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine today How is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine for today? How is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine for today? Well, they're thinking a lot, guys, okay? <laughs> they're all over the place. They're really thinking about you from what I can feel, okay? Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, guys, okay? So, like, wherever you're at, you know, whatever circumstance that you're in, you know, your masculine's asking you to close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel joyful and allow joy into your life regardless of whatever is going on okay and i feel like you know this is also the same for this particular masculine 
surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go, and all will work out. So again, I really feel like this masculine has come to the conclusion that it is time for them to surrender, okay, and, and not let the past hold them back, okay. I feel like this masculine, you know, um, is used to this self node energy, and I feel like you know it's time for them to really work on their north node, and they're they're learning to surrender. They know that they have to release their old before something new can enter into their life. Okay. Also, we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So again, I feel like your mask is trying to feel balanced during this time. Okay, and I see that here because, you know, towards you, we have here for Chakra. Archangel Michael and they're really working on themselves guys okay that is what I'm feeling and get this okay a new romantic cycle begins this masculine is really trying to work on balancing out you know trying to offer this feminine you know love into the relationship is what I'm feeling because right now guys they're acting like a virgin, okay? Maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. And that's really beautiful, okay? Also, we have here power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Exactly. I really feel like, you know, with this storm warning that came up in reverse, I feel like, you know, this masculine instinctively knows that they have the power to say no and walk away. Okay? And I feel like that's what this masculine is doing. They're going through some sort of judgment right now. Okay? Some sort of court decision about you know a false person someone who is seemingly fake okay and I feel like it's someone that they're married to or in a relationship or a commitment with and your masculine is trying to be mature okay and really follow their spiritual path from what I can feel also we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so again i really feel like this masculine they're really feeling you very deeply today divine feminines okay you know they're asking you to just feel their love because they're really thinking deeply you know about this connection Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. Okay? So again, I feel like, guys, today this masculine is overthinking, like thinking way too much about the situation. And it has something to do with the karmic situation. Okay, guys? That is what I'm seeing here. Wow. This masculine has a lot to say let me see here <laughs> acceptance is key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point in trying to change that is which beyond our control so I feel like this masculine has accepted that you know they have made uh, some decisions in their life and they're trying to find that inner peace and there is no point in trying to change what is beyond this masculine's control and I really feel like it, it's because they they dug you know something they chose to be in a karmic situation and now okay since they have chosen this path what well, from I can see you know they're, they're just dealing with it that's why they're trying to act all angelic when they're really not and they're really working on themselves i feel like this masculine has been really going through like a dark night of the soul in terms of their relationship with the karmic situation when you pass from this world nothing you can take nothing but with your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love and guys, you know, this masculine is really feeling nostalgic is what I'm feeling here. Okay. They're realizing that you can't take anything with you once you cross the other side, you know, from this physical life from what I can see. But the only thing that you can take are your memories with those that you have shared. Okay. And those that you love. And so, guys, you know, this masculine... 
they're coming through a lot of realizations, you know, about you, Divine Feminines. They're really thinking, you know, like, you know, reminiscing of the times that they spent with you. They're not happy with their current circumstance when I can feel, okay? All right, so we have here three more messages. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So again, I feel like this masculine is learning to trust in the situation. They know that they must transform. Hence the reason why, you know, they're going through this pathway. And um, things are, are going to shift in this masculine's life. You know, I feel like this masculine is ready for change, okay? Like, I feel that... This karmic situation that this masculine is currently in, you know, I feel like, you know, if if they needed a nudge, if they need a divine intervention, this is it. I think <laughs> this was it. I think they about had it, guys. You know, that's the feeling I'm getting here. And then here we have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Exactly. You know, again, I feel like this masculine is a taking a deep look within themselves and, um, you know, examining what is making this masculine feel this way. Okay. Like that's what I'm seeing. You know, like I said, they're thinking a lot. And finally, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. This masculine wants some change, okay? They want change into their life, Ron, I can feel. And they're trying to imagine all the thoughts dissolving into light so they can create those new opportunities with you, Divine Feminines, okay? That is what I'm seeing, wow. You know, your masculine is really thinking about you a lot today, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, let me go ahead and see how does your masculine currently feel towards you at this time, okay? How is this masculine feeling towards you in this now moment? How is this masculine currently feeling towards you in this now moment? We have stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. This masculine is staying optimistic, guys, okay? Like, I feel like if your masculine is in a karmic situation, they're not happy, okay? They were stuck in, in like, a marriage or a partnership or, or something, a commitment, and they're trying to be mature. They, they're, they're going to change, and I feel like they're working on, you know, um, doing this, okay? After that, they have gone through this situation, from what I can see here. And also, we have here, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, again, you know, I feel like this masculine, you know, possibly thought that, you know, you guys didn't have anything in common. Or you're not the type of person that they normally go for. But I feel like, you know... This masculine, you know, is feeling resonant with you, Divine Feminine, okay? They're, they're trying to stay optimistic, and they're keeping an open mind about this connection. And I really feel like this masculine is going to offer a new romantic cycle with their feminine, guys, okay? So, you know, I feel like this is coming uh, in the coming month, uh, in December, from what I can feel. And that's really beautiful. Wow. So, let me go ahead and pull some energies here. What are the actions is this masculine wanting to take towards their divine feminine? Okay. What are the actions is this masculine wanting to take towards their divine feminine? What are the actions is this masculine going to take towards their divine feminine? We have here snake. Wow. You know, I feel like, you know, this masculine is feeling super defensive uh, for themselves. You know, they're sticking up for what they believe in. And, um, you know, and I feel like it has something to do with a karmic person. Okay. That is what I'm feeling. You know, I feel like it, they're about to strike back, you know, towards their karmic from what I can feel. 
and um, they're not taking any prisoners you know one bite is all it takes you know that's the feeling that I'm getting wow and it has something to do with their home or their stability you know I feel like this masculine is wanting to be stable in, in their home life and um, they're keeping their emotions uh, to themselves in this now moment okay also we have here the key and the cage this masculine knows that they have the key to work on the connection with their feminine. They're feeling really nostalgic. Like I said, you know, they're thinking very deeply about you today, Divine Feminines. That's what I'm seeing. And I feel like, you know, they're about ready to offer that rose, you know, uh, and, you know, like an offer of love to their feminine. That is what I'm feeling. Okay. Also, we have here the maze. They know that, you know, there are some obstacles in the way before they can reach you, Divine Femme, you know. And again, I feel like this masculine is really sticking up for the connection, trying to uh, maneuver over, uh, you know, these situations that is blocking the way. But I feel like this masculine is on their way, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting with this masculine. And finally, we have here the tower. This masculine is looking towards the future uh, for some stability, okay? They want to leave the past behind and move forward from what I can see. And they want to uh, come to a completion of this cycle, okay? That is why, you know, we have here a new romantic cycle begins. I feel like, you know, this masculine is in full awareness of this connection towards you. More than anything, this masculine wants to come forward. But first, they have to end their karmic situations and, and really, you know, put a close to that chapter before they can move forward. Okay, guys, that's what I'm seeing here so far. Wow. All right. So, let me go ahead and see. <clears throat> What is this masculine going to do about the situation? Okay. So now that we know what they're going to do, what is their challenge? What is it that they need to surrender to in this now moment? What is it that this masculine needs to surrender to in this now moment? What is it that this masculine needs to surrender to? Please, spirit. We have surrender to miracles. <laughs> Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Exactly. You know, what I'm feeling is that this masculine is learning to surrender to miracles. I feel like the time is now. They're feeling the call. And, you know, more than anything, I feel like this masculine is receiving telepathic communication or sending it to their divine feminine that they know that it's time. It's time to move things forward. You know, and I feel like, you know, with the coming year of 2020, I feel like, you know, that that's about making decisions okay and and balance okay that is the feeling that i'm getting and also you know finding what their real stability is i feel like you know this masculine may have chosen the karmic situation because it was seemingly like uh, the stable uh thing to do but it really wasn't okay and this masculine knows that they're gonna choose themselves and they're gonna choose love they're gonna choose what they feel okay is the right thing to do now that this masculine has you know tried to make a situation work with the karmic situation but i feel like they're going through some legal situation dealing with the karmic okay and putting some closure to it finally because i feel like this masculine is changing okay they're putting an end to whatever contract or commitments that they have been uh involved with okay and really working on it Okay, guys, that is the feel I'm getting. They're surrendering to miracles and also surrender to your full power. Your life is calling you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Exactly. This masculine was really playing it small. They're playing it safe, guys. Okay, I kid you not. But now, you know, I feel like spirit is saying that, you know, hey, masculines, surrender to your full power. You are a divine masculine. Okay. Your life is calling you for you to step into your full power. So don't play small. Play big. You know, come forward, you know, and, and you know, 
feel the power, you know, to to move things through through this uh, situation. From I can see, wow. So let me go ahead and see. What is it that this masculine would like to communicate to you for today? What are the messages that your masculine would like to say to you for today? What is it that this mask would like to communicate to their divine feminine? Wow, look at this. You make me happy, you know? This mask wants to let you know, feminines, that you make them happy. Not the karmic situation, even though that they're with the karmics right now, or trying to get out of, you know, being with the karmic, you actually make them happy, okay? That is what I'm seeing. I know that I have put you through a lot of pain. I'm in pain too, and I am sorry, okay? This masculine, you know, has, has put you through a lot. They know that they have to, uh, you know, surrender to their full power instead of playing it small. They need to grab their nuts, okay, and, and play big, okay. <laughs> you know, because they're in pain too, and they're really sorry, okay, feminine. That's what I'm seeing. Right now, I just need your love. This mask, I want to let you know that they just need your love right now, feminines, okay? They know that, you know, they put themselves in a situation, but they're trying to get out of it. You know, I definitely see that, you know, this masculine is not letting the past hold them back anymore, okay? They've come to that realization from I can see. And, you know, they're, they're about to defend themselves, okay? They're ready to attack from what I can see here. And it's towards the karmic situation, okay? Really defending themselves. Okay. Okay, buddy. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I blocked my heart because I needed to heal. I was in fear. Please understand, you know, this masculine is blocking, you know, themselves because they still had some healing work to do, okay, guys? And, um, you know, they were in fear and they just hope that you understand their situation, okay? Yes, Fred Meyer, Saturday. Okay, bud. Yes, Paul. Also, we have here, I know I'm blocking the connection. I am just guarded. Okay, so this masculine is definitely blocking themselves. They're really guarded. I feel like it's because they're dealing with the karmic situation and they can't multitask. Okay, it's like they're putting one fire out at a time. Hence, you know, they're, they're getting out of this storm warning. And I really feel like, you know, they're dealing with a situation dealing with a karmic. Okay, that is what I'm feeling. That's what um, the energy is pulling through for today. You know, it's for those of my masculines dealing with the karmic situation and I feel like they're they're finally putting closure to it okay they're not in a good mood right now and they know that there's obstacles in the way between you divine feminines with your masculine so that you guys can come into union but your masculine is is trying to close out those cycles so they can have a new cycle with you okay all right final message I am just healing. Please don't take it personal. Okay, so right now, this masculine is healing. You know, feminines, you know, don't don't take it personal from what I can see. You know, uh, they just need some healing work. So this is a, a you know, a continuation from uh, yesterday's reading from what I can see that this masculine is continually trying to heal themselves. So, you know, just understand, give them, you know, your love. Yeah, because that's all they need right now. And, you know, be understanding of their situation, okay? You know, once this masculine close out their cycles and, you know, step into their full power, right? You know, <laughs> surrender to their full power because that's the challenge for this masculine. You know, instead of playing it small, they need to play big, okay? You know, I feel like, you know, the karmic's got them by the nuts, 
That's what I'm feeling, guys. I ain't gonna lie, you know. But they need to surrender to miracles because this masculine has an issue with believing in miracles. But, you know, deep down inside, I feel like they're feeling the call telepathically that it is time to release, you know, those negative thoughts and be open, you know, to those changes because it's real, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, let me go ahead and see... What can we expect from our masculines in the near future, okay? So, let's say that this masculine is open to believe in miracles and they finally grab their nuts, okay, or their, their tits. <laughs> you know, instead of playing it small, they're playing it big, right? <laughs> so, let's see. What, what are the actions? Is this masculine, okay, what, what is the outcome? That is going to happen for this masculine towards their feminine okay once they overcome these challenges what is the outcome please spirit for this masculine we have here eight of pentacles okay your masculine love to work that's what i'm saying you know i feel like you know they want to work on something solid you know, um, and something stable, you know, I feel like, you know, this time that they're gonna, they're gonna do it right. Okay. That is the feeling that I'm getting here. And it has something to do with any kind of toxic situations or codependencies. Okay. And they're releasing all of that so that they can be with you to my feminine. Look at that. You guys are, are shacked up together. Okay. You guys are no longer separated. You guys are finally together because this masculine has broken free from their karmic situation okay that is what i'm seeing because why this masculine is putting the work okay finally okay they were playing it big okay not small <laughs> and then here we have the six of uh cups you guys are going to be together okay like i said i feel like you know this masculine is putting closure to this karmic situation so that you guys can spend time together you know and i feel like you know there's going to be happy times coming you know in the near future between you two and it's because that you know you guys have healed you know yourselves you know if you had hope okay continue you know to have hope in the connection because i feel that you guys are are going to work things out okay that is what i'm feeling you know i feel like you know you're going to express your emotions divine feminine towards your masculine okay so that you guys can come in together because why you have love for your masculine that is what i'm feeling here you know and honestly i feel like you guys are going to be together and finally okay this masculine is no longer planning they're taking that one pentacle okay and giving it to you finally this masculine is going to give you an offer okay that is what i'm seeing so wow look at this guys we have here a ton of cups you guys are going to finally celebrate together as a happy family, you know, like by a campfire, you know, with the kids. And, you know, you guys are going to be celebrating. Honestly, again, guys, I feel like this is around uh, the Christmas time, okay? Like here in the United States, you know, today is Thanksgiving. But I feel like, you know, this masculine is really wanting to spend time with you. And I see this. It is going to be like a nice little cozy get together with your masculine okay also we have here the hermit your masculine has been thinking about what really makes them happy okay they know that they were holding on to this snake i kid you not guys <laughs> you know we have this snake over here they were holding on to the karmic partner or the karmic situation and now you know they're ready to fight back they're they're standing up for themselves they're going to be working on the situation okay and i see it here twice guys okay this masculine is going to be working on the situation to release themselves from their karmic um person okay they're no longer letting the past hold them back okay 
and they're going to be working on it okay guys they're no longer you know wanting to be like this you know angel i feel like they're showing their true colors now okay that is what i'm feeling you know so finally we have here seven of wands i kid you not guys this masculine is being defensive this masculine is going to defend themselves because they have been thinking about the situation okay dealing with the karmic from i can see so that this masculine ha can have like their ten of cups with you divine feminine this is what they want this is what makes them happy not this karmic situation okay that is what i'm saying because why right now this karmic okay is taking them to court i kid you not and they're being fake okay they are being fake and the karmic may have red hair okay just putting it out there i don't know if it's red hair or like um brownish reddish hair or something like that but this karmic is fake you know they're trying to wear that red trying to be all seductive and you know lure your masculine in trying to be manipulative from what i can see oh no your masculine knows how how your karmic plays okay and they're not playing no more <laughs> that's what i'm saying because why they want to follow that spiritual path they want to change and transform and follow the light they no longer want to be in the dark okay guys that is what I'm seeing. So this is really beautiful. This masculine is going to defend themselves for this connection so they can have this Ten of Cups. And they're going to be working on it. Okay, guys? That is a really beautiful energy. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and close out this reading with a guidance message and see. Feminines. Okay, what is the guidance message that... The holy angels, okay, or divine, want to let you know in this now moment. What is it that you need to know in this now moment in regards to your divine masculine? What is it that you need to know in regards to your divine masculine or divine counterpart, okay? Whoever that you're watching this video for it could be divine masculine or divine feminine. What is the guidance message you need to know? Here we have ma'at, okay, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. I kid you not, you are going to receive justice, feminines, okay? Just know that ma'at is here and they're going to provide that fairness. Why? Because, look at this. A new romantic cycle begins. Do you see that? There's the scales there. Okay. And also, your masculine is coming in balanced. Okay. The root chakra is the most important chakra of all. Okay. That's what grounds you. Okay. That's what makes you stable and secure. And without the root, you have nothing. And so, I feel like this masculine is really working on themselves, Divine Feminines. Okay. Believe in that. Ma'at is here to give you fairness. Also, we have Bast. Independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success guys you know continue to be independent from what i can feel you know work on yourself you know I, I keep saying this i feel like a broken record but as you know you know i'll keep saying it until you know we all get it right continue to be independent okay and it is a foundation for your strength and success and i really feel like this is also true for this divine masculine because as this masculine becomes independent and Instead of codependent on their karmic situation they are free free to do whatever that they choose you know and i feel like this masculine realizes that their stability is not with this old idea or traditional way of thinking okay it, it's within themselves okay and they realize that you know since they have uh, been uh in knowing of their divine feminine because their divine feminine is independent they can see that their feminine can do this all on their own. And this masculine is following suit. 
they're, they're really coming in and working on the situation guys so this is really beautiful energy so i really hope that you enjoyed today's reading thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and your subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can reach me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig at scorpio moon intuition and guys you know um if you purchase any of my jewelry okay um it is free shipping worldwide okay so take advantage of that and also um i have three uh scorpio moon intuition cards left okay um and this is also free shipping and guys free uh free shipping is anywhere between 7.95 to 14.95 okay 14.95 for international and 7.95 uh within the united states and so that's a really big savings actually you know so you know if you're interested go ahead and take a look on my website and again you know thank you for being a subscriber uh once i reach 4,000 subscribers i will give away a free reading and so thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye